Hello everyone and thank you very much for taking time today to join today's Future Frontiers Fest by FinnoLab 2021 Resilience Day 4. My name is Chris Wells and I will be your host today. So today is the final day of 4F. We really hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Day 4 is Financial Award Day. We will announce the grand prize, the Audience Award, and the Supporter Award for the Finno Pitch, which was presented on day one. Also, there will be an announcement on the Japan Financial Innovation Award 2021, which started last year, as well as a wonderful keynote message from Mr. Brett King. Now let's move on to the award ceremony. For this, Finno Pitch organized by 4F, eight startups from Japan, and eight startups outside of Japan who had passed a very strict selection process. We will announce the grand prize, the audience award, and the supporter award for each domestic and international category. This time, AWS, Amazon Web Service, provided an extra prize, an Echo Spot smart speaker with a screen. So a big thanks to AWS, Amazon Web Service. We will give it to the companies that have won the audience prize as an extra prize. Furthermore, FinnoLab hot desk usage rights for three months will be given to two people in the startup who have won the Japan grand prize as an extra prize. Also, because of the fact that this award ceremony involves many international startups, as well as the situation of COVID-19, winning startups will participate in the award ceremony on Zoom. We will be broadcast live streaming by combining the real-time footage right here from the venue and the Zoom venue. Okay, is this gonna work? We're not sure, we really hope so. Uh, so fingers crossed for us. The award-winning startups are in the waiting room. When we call, they will enter the screen. Now, the awards will be announced in the order of domestic and then international. In each category, we will announce the supporter award audience award, and grand prize in that order. So tonight we would like to start with the award ceremony, so award ceremony for Finno Pitch 2021. This pitch contest is the successor of FIBC, the Financial Innovation Business Conference, which was the first FinTech pitch contest in Japan, started in 2012, and it continued all the way to 2019. Since the main part of the FIBC organizing team has shifted right here to FinnoLab, the decision was made to organize the contest in a new format this year. In the middle of the pandemic, the selection was made with the video submitted by the applicants from 10 different countries from all over the world. During the 4F event, we viewed the pitches of 16 finalists on day one just this past Monday. And we are now about to witness the final winners for Finno Pitch 2021. All right, are you excited? Are you ready to hear the eight finalists applying from Japan? They are AI Pay for AI Pay, Credify for Service X, Hijojo Partners for Hijojo.com, 400F for Money Health Check, EFIT for Korea Corporate Plan, Finitext for Inspire, JPY Yen for JPY Yen Trust Score, and finally, Dot Data for Dot Data. And from outside of Japan, we have our international eight finalists. They had their pitch on Monday. They are Blue Fire AI from Singapore for early warning of unforeseen risk. GK8 from Israel for end-to-end -end platform for managing blockchain-based assets. Hedgespa from Singapore for Hedgespa core investment platform. Installments from Taiwan for Insto. Agora Innovation from Germany for IVE1. PayPlus from Zambia for PayPlus. Seeger Limited from United Kingdom for 1FX Soul. And finally, Juice 8 Tech from Germany for Juice 8 Tech. All right, this is all very exciting. Now we would like to start from the winners for the Supporters Award. Our gold supporter, GMO Alzora NetBank, has kindly offered to give an award to the applicant with the most unique 
approach. As a matter of fact, GMO Aozora NetBank won the category excellence in the Japan Financial Innovation Award, JFIA, just last year in the financial institution category. And they are known to promote unique approaches with their group. And without further ado, the GMO Aozora NetBank Award goes to Finitex for Inspire. All right, congratulations. I would like to ask the GMO presenter, Mr. Yagami, up to the stage. Mr. Yagami. Nice to meet you as well. All right, and now we are going to attempt to connect to the winner on Zoom. Let's see if we can make this internet magic work. Oh, there they are. Excellent. All right. So, whew. okay, everyone's breathing a sigh of relief. Okay, nice. So uh, first of all, we're going to present the panel virtually. So we're going to float the panel and fly it over to them. <gasps> and that worked as well, fantastic. Okay, so uh, if we could have a comment from Mr. Yagami first, take it away. Yeah, please. So uh, first of all, so uh, I'd like to say thank you uh, Fino to Finolabo uh, giving us uh, such a great opportunity so uh, regarding selection, so mm -hmm. uh, honestly speaking, so that, has, that was so hard to us mm -hmm. because uh, all candidates were so fantastic. Mm -hmm. However, so we've decided to uh, give our award to Finatex uh, team at this time. Mm -hmm. So we have some uh, reasons uh, for selection, mm -hmm. but uh, main is uh, the service, Inspire, grab customer needs. Mm -hmm. So this point is very important to us. And uh, this Inspire uh, has a very excellent uh, function for customers uh, mm -hmm. based on their technology. So that, uh, realize, uh, that can realize uh, digital transformation in insurance industry. So in addition, so we understand, so uh, the Inspire uh, services uh, looks like based on embedded finance. So that point uh, is similar to, uh, same to our business goal. Mm -hmm. So that's why so, oh, we believe uh, we can co-create new financial business with Finatex. Mm -hmm. These are uh, for selection to our award. Congratulations again. All right, very good. Wonderful words from our supporter. And up next, we'd like a comment from the winner. Oh, hello? Go ahead, hello? speak a little more. Oh, yes, now can we can hear, hear you. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, I'm Kazuhiro Kawabata, leading uh, insure tech business in Finatex Group. Uh, it's, it's a great honor to receive this award. award. And uh, we believe our, our insurance as a service Inspire can bring a much better ins insurance user experience. And uh, we are looking for working with you, uh, Jim Aldora And uh, our goal is to reinvent insurance so that it can benefit more people's lives. Uh, thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Congratulations again. And a big thanks to GMO as well. Thank, thank you. you very much. All right, so up next, we're going to show you an introductory video for GMO Alzora NetBank, who just served as the presenter. GMO. <laughs> を出して進もう。夢を支える
振り込み手数料が一件百八十円に。振り込み件数が増えれば増えるほどお得に。G. M. O. 青空ネット銀行で口座開設。All right, that was a video from our supporter, GMO. Up next, with their generosity as a 4F Gold supporter, Seven Bank is to give recognition to the applicant with the best growth potential. Seven Bank also won category excellence in the collaboration category of JFIA last year, and they passionately support many growing startups. All right, here we go. The Seven Bank Award goes to He Jojo Partners for HeJojo.com. All right, excellent. And now our, we'd like to ask Seven Bank supporter Nishi san up to the stage to present. All right, thank you. And we're going to get the winners on Zoom. Oh. Ha, okay, there they are. Welcome. Welcome virtually to Tokyo. We'd thank like you. a word from Nishi san to start off. All right. Oh, お、oh, yes, please. はい、Go ahead. えっと、メンジャーさんおめでとうございます。あの、えっと、まああのユニコーンのーまあ非常上の株に個人が投資できるっていうですね、あのまあありそうで、あの誰でも考えれるんですけども、そのまあそういうこうネットワークのパスをこう持ってる人がいない中で、えっとあの。ちょっとその金額が100万円ということであのコンビニ銀行とは少しちょっと違うんですけどももう純粋にあの個人としてあのすぐにあの投資をさせていただきたいなということで選ばせていただきました<笑>おめでとうございます。Thank you, Nishi san. And now a word from the winner, please. Okay. Um, あの英語で喋ろうと思ったんですけど、ニシさん日本語でいただいたのでここ日本語でお返ししたいと思います。<笑>あのこの度はあの選んでいただきありがとうございます。あのおっしゃる通りで、まあ、弊社最初はまあ2年ちょっと前からあのいわゆるユニコーン投資といいますかただしまああの事業会社さんであったり富裕さんさんであったり、まあ、大学基金さんであったり、まあ、一口 1,000 万円というところからスタートして、まあ、ちょうど実はあのいちご案件の IPO であったりあのまあスパックの上場であったり。まあ、ちょうどいい会社のタイミングで、まあ、今回の非常上ドットコムであの一口100万円からっていうことで、まあ、あの創業来、まあ、信じてたプロダクトが、まあ、よりマスにあの展開できるっていうことであの、まあ、本当に、まあ、これ初めて賞をいただくんですけど、まあ、最後にならないように引き続き頑張りたいと思いますので<笑>よろしくお願いします。All right. thank you very much. And thank you, Nishi -san. <笑> Up next, our special supporter, Mitsubishi Estate, has kindly offered to provide an award to the applicant with the most creative approach. They've been supporting various creative companies in the heart of the financial center here in Tokyo for many years. And the Mitsubishi Estate Award goes to... AI Pay. All right, excellent. And we would like to get Ito-san from Mitsubishi Estate up on stage to present the award. And we'll get the winner here on Zoom. Mitsubishi Estate's Ito. And Ito-san, now we're going to pass the plaque virtually. There it is. Now we're going to pass the plaque virtually. There it is. And away it goes. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. And Ito, can you give a comment? Yes. 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 All right, thank you, Ito san. And now a word from the winner. Dozo. 
Uh, thank you for such an award. I'm very honored to receive this award. Now, I'm most grateful to the Finorabo for giving me a chance. I uh, greatly appreciate the support of my team members and partners and shareholders and my family. I still have a lot of growing and running and work to do. And this award is a really beautiful symbol to continue on the journey. And uh, I'm grateful for that. So thank you very much. All right, congratulations again, but that's not all. You are also winning an extra prize, which is a Finolab hot desk usage rights for two people for three months. All right, thank you very much. Now, up next, we have an introductory video of Mitsubishi Estate Company Limited, who just served as our presenter. Take a look. その企業とこの企業の力を合わせることで、未来に向かって走っている方が多いかなと思います。現状の常識にとらわれない方は多いと思います。すごい自由な人が多いです。目的を共にしている仲間たちの集まり、取れてる人、社外の友達が増えたって言いますか。来れば誰かいるという安心感
Uh, but also, uh, we came up with the idea like uh, we might be able to also utilize such a technology in uh, credit underwriting. So we have a, a bunch of uh, uh, large enterprises as a borrower uh, client of MLG. So uh, I think maybe we can use such a technology for credit underwriting. So that's why we choose a company. So anyway, so uh, I'm very much looking forward to you know talking with you guys regarding how we can work together. Congratulations. All right, and now a word from the winner, please. Yeah, no, thank you very much. It's been an absolute privilege to be uh, in this award ceremony and especially around such strong uh, companies. And uh, a massive thank you to MEFG for, for, the, for the award. And, and hopefully this is a start point of, like you say, we can start to look and work a lot more now with, um, with yourself in Japan and, in, and with other Japanese clients. So thank you very much for the award. It's, it's very well respected. Thank you. Congratulations. All right, thank you very thank much, you. Suzuki san. And now we have a video, an introductory video of Mitsubishi UFJ Innovation Partners who just served as our presenter. Take a look. Hello, Eben. I'm Nobutake Suzuki, the president and the CEO of MLG Innovation Partners. MLG Innovation Partners, or MAIP, is a corporate venture capital arm of MLG. MLG is the largest banking group in Japan, and one of our advantages is the global coverage. We have two important global markets. One in the US, where we have a union bank as a subsidiary. Also, we own 24% of Morgan Stanley, and we have a joint venture with a firm in Japan. The other important market is South Asia, where we have four subsidy banks in Thailand, Indonesia, Vietnam, and Philippines. In terms of collaboration with the fintech startups, we can work together not only in Japan, but also in many other countries. Also, MLG is very much committed to open innovations. I would like to pick up two case studies the first one is Grab. MAFG and MAP jointly invested $700 million in Grab, and MAFG has become a first choice bank for Grab. MAFG and its subsidy banks in South Asia have worked with Grab to develop a new financial services for Grab's drivers, merchants, and users. The next is our partnership with Liquidity Capital. The company is based in Israel, and it has advanced credit underwriting technologies focusing on high-growth startups. MEIP invested in the company in 2019, and MLG and the company have launched a joint venture in Singapore to provide a loans to pre-unicorn startups in Asia. MLG has a track record of investment in fintech, AI, and other startups. MEIP has succeeded such as MLG's commitments with a $185 million fund since its launch in 2019. MLG and MAP's portfolio include global fintech startups like Coinbase, Symfony, Chainalysis, Figure, Fundbox, Beam in the US, Grab, Industry, Custom in South Asia, and Free, Payd, Money Tree, AB Cash in Japan. Again, we are CBC fund for MLG and looking forward to working with the fintech startups from all over the world. Thank you. And thank you to Mitsubishi UFJ Innovation Partners. Now, up next, we have your voice being heard with the Japan Audience Award. On Monday, during and after the pitches, we collected all the votes online to get your choice. And the most popular applicant will get the Audience Award. And they'll get an extra prize from Amazon Web Service, which is an Echo Spot smart speaker with a screen. A big thanks to AWS for that extra prize. All right, now among the applicants from Japan, the audience award goes to EFIT Incorporated for Korea Corporate Plan. 
And here to present the award is the Finolab CEO, Chie Ito. And we're going to get the winners on Zoom. Well, there they are already. And now we're going to present the award plaque virtually. There it is. And whew, it goes. <laughs> Excellent. All right, so Ito-san, if we could have uh, a word from the winner, please. If our winners could go ahead and give us a few comments. OK. First of all, I would like to express my gratitude for Finolabo for giving me this pitch. Mm -hmm. And I'm very honored to receive this award. And we think Quoria is a service that can significantly change the issues of the securities industry and individual investors and the Japanese economy. And we will continue to provide user-first services. Thank you. あの、現在弊社はあの、Thank you so much. All right, thank you very much. Congratulations. <laughs> All right, now, just as for the Japan Audience Award, we collected votes online on Monday during and after the pitches. And the most popular applicant will get the Audience Award, the International Audience Award. And the International Audience Award goes to... Head Spa from Singapore for Head Spa Core Investment Platform. All right, and once again, this award will be presented by Finolab's very own CEO, Chie Ito-san. How are you doing, Ito-san? Excellent. Have you had a good year, yeah. all things considering? <laughs> yeah, long time no see. I know, right? It's like, <laughs> I saw your name. <laughs> well, excellent. Oh, it looks like we have our winner via Zoom. Welcome. And uh, we're going to pass you a winner's plaque virtually. So there's the plaque. Let's see. Thank you. Yeah. Hang on one second. Come on. <laughs> yeah. And when it comes, you're going to have to throw it. There we go. Now, give it a big yeah. throw. Congratulations. There we go. OK. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Very good. Now we're going to go straight to the winner for a comment. So please, how does it feel? Uh, this is wonderful. And uh, in particular, I want to thank uh, Shibata-san for introducing us to the program and also uh, thank our wonderful team uh, for uh, doing a lot of hard work to help us win this particular award. I mean, thank you. All right. Fantastic. Congratulations once again. OK, now, before announcing the grand prize, the judge panel has decided to give an honorary mention for the business idea promoting the best cross-border interaction. And the honorary mention goes to JPYN with JPYN Trust Score. Excellent. And? We are going to get them on Zoom just as soon as the satellites align and the electrons go from here all the way up into outer space. And here we go. There we have the winners right there. And now we're going to present the virtual award. Here we go. Let's give it a toss. Excellent. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> How does it feel to be the winner? Dozo, chukoto, comment on Go right ahead. <laughs> あの、すいません、日本語で失礼いたします。大丈夫よ。あの、私たちはあの、材料外国人の信用スコアっていうのをフィンテックサービスでやってるんですけども、いや、このサービスが本当にフィンテックとして必要とされているのかって本当に悩
Credify for Service X. And Mr. Masajima will present the award. All right, and now we're going to, oh, if you could stand in the center right there, excellent. And now we're going to get the winners on Zoom. It'll take just a moment, okay? And very good, yeah, you can take your mask off. We're, I think we're two meters apart, so I think this is safe. Yes, <laughs> we're socially distancing. Um, and oh, looks like we have our winners on Zoom. So Masujima, please uh, take it away. Okay. All right. Oh, hey, there we go. We're going to present the plaque. Whoosh. <laughs> okay. It just whooshed over. And now we're going to have a comment from the winner. Hi. Thank you for selecting us. So this says we are a Japanese company, but actually we are a Singaporean company. And we got strategic investment from TIS, SIR in Japan last year. So we are planning to roll out our product into the Japan market. So we are very excited to do that. Thank you for taking us. Congratulations. Congratulations again. All right, you're also going to get an extra prize, which is a Finolab hot desk usage rights for two people for three months. So congratulations for that. Thank you very much. Now the judge panel of Finnovators, which as I mentioned is a pro bono mentor group made up of FinTech experts, has also chosen the international grand prize from among the applicants from outside of Japan. And the international grand prize goes to Agora Innovation from Germany for I've won. All right, the award will be presented again by Masujima-san. And we are going, to, and we have our winners on Zoom. Okay. There we are. Wow. Hello there. <laughs> Very nice meeting Hi. you. Hi. All you? right. How does it feel to be the winner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my first time to meet you, but uh, you know, <laughs> We're congratulations. You congratulations. The plaque. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> there thank we you go. Much. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, if we could have a word from the winner, please. Yeah, sure. So overall, uh, thank you very much for choosing like a um, German, uh, let's say, tech or fintech, yeah, mm -hmm. to winning like the grand prize. And um, I think what we are currently developing in regards to the digital asset space, we will definitely change the uh, financial market, I think, in the next couple of years. Mm -hmm. And it will have like a really huge impact. So thank you very much. Very congratulations. We look forward to meeting you, you know, soon, probably in person. Thanks. Congratulations. And thank you, Masajima-san. Now, we are not just giving them a virtual plaque. We're actually going to give them this prize, which is very pretty, and it will have each winner's name engraved. And we'll send that out just as soon as we finish. All right, very nice. Thank you. <laughs> all right, well, as we have announced all the winners of Finno Pitch 2021, we would like to have a word from the chairperson of the judge panel, who has been here for the past several awards, Mr. Masakazu Masujima. He is attorney at law at Morihamada and Matsumoto, and founder and president of Finnovators. Mr. Masujima. Okay, so uh, thank you everyone for you know, uh, no, listing <clears throat> all the you know uh, this uh, award. And we've got a lot of, you know, variety of startups who tries to um, pioneer the new way of businesses. And we've chosen... So we've chosen uh, Credify uh, because um, you know Credify is an, as as, as uh, the CEO says you know it's a uh, Japanese you know entrepreneurs who started their business in Singapore. Uh, it's actually very you know unique uh, strategy because uh, many of the Japanese startups tend to be just skating uh, domestically, cannot you know expand their business to the global. Uh, market, but uh, uh, the Credify tries to uh, do the different way so that they can go, uh, you know, global from scratch, and also their solution uh, is uh, like leveraging their, you know, uh, s digital ID system, 
and uh, you know, create some user acquisition system and report a uh, peer-to-peer vouchering system, which is quite unique for the uh, Japan market. So we would like to uh, have, you know, we would like them to, you know, penetrate Japan market. So that's a reason why we chosen uh, Credify. And also uh, Agora Innovation, uh, they created uh, I've uh, one system which provides insurance and the investment platform for uh, digital assets. And we've chosen I've uh, one.1 because its solution may uh, accelerate Japan's crypto, uh, help Japan's cr uh, crypto community accelerate the uh, issuance and the management of the uh, new crypto uh, services. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Masujima. And now we would like to conclude Finno Pitch 2021. We hope to see more challengers next year. Now up next, we have our keynote, which will be given by Mr. Brett King. Please take a look. So uh, to all of those uh, organizations, all of you that participated in Finno Labs Finno Pitch, um, I congratulate you on your, um, your creativeness, your innovation and uh, your persistence. And uh, I hope this is the start of something incredible for you in the ecosystem in terms of growth. Remember, the, remember um, one thing when you're thinking about this in the future is that the future of the financial services space, particularly in the retail banking space, is with the technology and the creative design, experience design, and application of uh, machine learning and artificial intelligence. It's radically going to redefine financial services, and you guys are on the front line. So continued success, and well done on your participation in the Finna Pitch. Uh, you know, ultimately, um, you know, from a structural perspective, we've, COVID has um, accentuated the issues of financial inclusion more broadly. And so, um, you know, uh, COVID has um, affected lower to middle income houses, low, lower to middle income households um, in developed economies much more significantly than it has the uh, the, the richest, um, you know, 10% of the economy. And so it's really drawn um, attention to the fact that um, financial inclusion and digital inclusion are really critical, um, you know, fundamental elements of, of um, a modern society these days. You know, if, if um, you know, you're going to have access to education for your children in the future, healthcare services and so forth, you need digital inclusion. If you're going to have access to financial resources in the future, you need financial inclusion that may be dependent on digital inclusion or, uh, you know, for example, identity frameworks. And so um, I think it is identified the fact that if we are going to continue to digitize, we need to fix some of these fundamentals. And, you know, we've seen an acceleration of a digital adoption um, also. So the other message is if you're a bank, um, you know, working in this space and you've been slow to transform your business around digital, then, um, you know, increasingly you're going to find a disconnect um, between, you know, where the market is heading, where consumers are heading and, and, and the business. So the way I say this in, in the book is, um, you know, banks who rely on branches for, uh, so branches won't disappear, I say, but banks who rely on branches for revenue will disappear. You need that mix of digital revenue um, and, you know, physical, uh, um, you know, dr physically driven relationships, um, you know, to compete. If you, if you haven't made that transition as a bank already and you don't have you know, like near 50% of your revenue across digital, you're going to have some, some challenges ahead. Um, the one thing sort of very interesting is I finished, um, you know, I, I, I published um, the book obviously in um, late 2018, early 2019. So it's, 
it's been uh, um, a while now. It's been a couple of years. Um, but um, I think what's really key is I talked a lot about the emergence of Ant Financial and Group, um, Tencent, WeChat Pay, you know, um, the mobile wallet ecosystem that we see around the world. So Kakao in South Korea, Paytm in India, et cetera. And, um, you know, what has happened since the book came out is, of course, that, um, you know, we now see double the amount of, double the volume of transactions and the amount of, um, you know, mobile payments, uh, double that of plastic cards around the world. And so that's um, a pretty big shift that's just occurred in the last couple of years where you see an entire market's discretionary spending has shifted to a mobile wallet over a plastic debit card. Now, that is, a, that is one area that I'd, I'd really, I think, focus on a little bit more if I was to write the book again, is that, um, you know, once day-to-day -day discretionary spending shifts to a mobile wallet, your day-to-day -day bank account is essentially now on your phone. And while we, I've been talking about that, you know, it's, it's that experience side. It's, it's, it's what that means in terms of the changes around how you access credit, how you do your savings, um, you know, that shift is, is uh, we're seeing that accelerated, um, you know, as a result of the shift to mobile wallet. So I think that's the big trend, again, I would probably get people to focus on, is that this is not a future thing that is happening in 10 years' time, that we're seeing this happening before our eyes. And, you know, you have to get, you now have to change your mindset in terms of the role the bank has in people's lives, unless you're integrated on that day-to-day -day basis with a sort of a cloud-based wallet, right? Just as uh, you saw after the Great Depression or the Great Recession in 2008, financial recovery for people, you know, is going to be critical. And so, um, you know, we're going to see a lot of tools emerge to try and differentiate um, the services of one bank platform from another around this element. So financial wellness, helping me save money, um, you know, um, helping me understand, you know, um, when I need some support or access to credit. Um, but the old days of airline mile rewards, you know, or cashback, you know, built into your credit card, you know, those days are really over because in the future, you know, if you're encouraging me to spend, then I think that will be perceived by, you know, Gen Zs and Gen Ys as, um, uh, it, you know, negative impact to their overall financial well-being. And so instead, you're going to need to give, um, you know, your customers tools that will help them save money, you know. And, uh, you know, um, this is at the heart a sort of a fundamental um, restructuring of, financial services because you're not going to be able to rely on high sort of rates of credit interest and things like that. Um, you know, um, net interest income is going to be low, you know, so um, it, it really, it, it, the potential for change in terms of the, the banking model itself is pretty big. So maybe we'll move something more to like a subscription model like Amazon Prime and, you know, uh, and within that you have, um, or, or Netflix as an example. And within that, you're given the tools to, you know, access credit when and where you need it. But most, um, most importantly, day to day, your bank account will be helping you save money and get financially healthier. And I think that's where banks are going to be sort of putting their hand on their heart and saying, we're trying to do the right thing by our customers by helping you get financially healthy. And I think that's where there's sort of going to be a line drawn um, between those that are still very product focused and trying to sell you, you know, um, high cost credit versus the, those banks that are saying, you know, let us help you recover from the financial effects of the coronavirus. And a big thanks to Brett King for that interesting and informative talk. Next, we have the announcement of the JFIA 2021 Japan Financial Innovation Awards. But first, Please have a look at an introductory video for supporter AgVenture Labs.
はい皆さんこんにちは J アクセラレーターにようこそアドベンチャーラボの荻野でございます我々 J アクセラレーターは食と脳と暮らしこの周りにある社会課題を解決するスタートアップ企業を支援いたします具体的には JA が持つですねいろんなアセットあるいはネットワークを使って皆さんの事業を支援いたしますこのプログラム2019年に開始して今回で3回目になります今までの2期で合計300の応募があってその中で15社をご支援させていただきました採択企業にはステージに応じて J グループあるいは農業者との協業を支援したりあるいは出資等のご支援もさせていただいているところでございます我々 J グループ食や農はもちろんのこと銀行保険病院観光新聞、まあ、その他さまざま生活の周りのですね事業も展開していますぜひこういった社会課題に取り組むスタートアップの応募をお待ちしています求む食と脳と暮らしのイノベーター And thank you to Ag Venture Lab. And now the JFIA award ceremony. After the success of the inauguration last year, Finolab and Finnovators are announcing the second Japan Financial Innovation Award. The selection was made through the following process Finolab staff members selected about 600 fintech related initi initiatives from press releases in the year 2020. They went on to provide a short list of 10 to 12 initiatives for three categories, including startups, financial institutions, and collaboration. Finnovators evalu evaluated them to identify five initiatives for each category to be announced as category winners. And the final evaluation was made by Finnovators to select the Grand Prix and category excellence. And now, we would like to introduce the winners of each category. Which was already announced on January 29th. We are starting with the startup category. And the winner of the startup category is Crescent Incorporated, which was selected for their mobile credit program Crescent in the startup category. They are working on creating lending as a service platform to provide credit capabilities to other service providers. 400F was chosen for their program to match the financial planners to those who are in need of various money matters. They have come up with new financial media called Okaneko, on which anyone can consult on their financial issues with an expert. Next, Finitext has been awarded for their insurance as a service platform in the, service, the startup category. With their Inspire platform, various service providers would be able to introduce insurance services without building system infrastructure from scratch. Next, BitKey was selected for their digital key platform, BitKey platform, in the startup category. They have already established a reputation for their smart key offerings, and this new platform will expand their capabilities to cover virtual ID linkage, online authentication, and digital rights management. Next, Sora Mitsu has been selected for developing the central bank digital currency Bakong in the Kingdom of Cambodia in the startup category. They are focusing on blockchain technology and develop their own protocol. Hyperledger Idoha, which became the technology behind Bakong. And now turning to the financial institution category. In the financial institution category, GMO Alzora NetBank has been selected for their invoice financing GMO Alzora SpeedPay. They introduced the service in order to help SMEs in need of quick finance. Next, Joyo Bank, based in Ibaraki Prefecture, has been chosen for their elderly monitoring service in the financial institution category. In the Aging Society of Japan, they are trying to monitor elderly people living by themselves so that they can give support in an emergency situation. Next, Sumitomo Mitsui Banking Corporation. 
has been awarded in the financial institution category for their data analytic service with satellite information. They are challenging new frontiers by utilizing information from satellites, including about real estate, traffic, human concentration, etc., for analyzing business trends, marketing, and urban planning. Next, SBI Sumishi Net Bank has been rewarded for their online account opening for corporate accounts in the financial institution category. Similar services have already been introduced in retail account openings, but they were the first in Japan to introduce a corporate online account opening service with an eKYC menu. Next, Tokai Tokyo Financial Holdings has been chosen for their POC on real estate securitization and listing for security token exchange in the financial institution category. They are initiating a project to securitize real estate for listing it to iStocks, the security token exchange in Singapore. And now to the collaboration category. Alpaca Japan and Folio have partnered to create Folio Robo Pro and were awarded in the collaboration category. The new Robo Advisor service by Folio mainly invests in ETF by utilizing AI technology developed by Alpaca Japan. Next, Elements and Tokyo Marine and Nichido Fire Insurance created cyber insurance for eKYC and were awarded in the collaboration category. The new insurance will cover those who are introducing liquid eKYC services provided by Elements. Next, Ulta, Yusin Next Holdings, and Shinsei Bank have joined forces to offer financial support with factoring and commercial loans to cope with COVID-19 in the collaboration category. As Yusin Next have many users in small shops, restaurants, business owner segments, Ulta will provide factoring service and Shinsei Bank will provide commercial loans for those who are in financial need after the COVID-19 crisis. Next, Boostry, Kinedix, and Sumitomo Mitsui Trust Bank partnered for issuance of digital security with blockchain in the collaboration category. They are adopting blockchain technology to issuing digital security with a less costly and more efficient process than the paper-based process. Next, Just In Case and Dido Life Insurance Company have partnered in a support project to offer free COVID-19 cover as a social contribution, which was awarded in the collaboration category. Just In Case developed COVID-19 short-term insurance, and it was introduced to cover Dido Life's customers without any extra fee. As I mentioned in the beginning, Finnovators have selected Grand Prix and Category Excellence winners from among the category winners, which we have just introduced. And now for the award ceremony. We are starting from the Category Excellence in each of the three categories, Startup, Financial Institution, and Collaboration. Category Excellence in Startup goes to Finitext for the launch of Insurance as a Service Platform Inspire for Financial Service Providers. And the award will be presented by CEO of Finolab, Chie Ito. Please come to the stage. All right, and now we're going to get, and the winner is, let's see, just a moment. And now a comment from the winner which we are getting, which who's right here actually. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so used to the Zoom thing. Okay, we actually have the winner right here in the room, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm, I'm gonna introduce him right now. Please come to the stage uh, from Finitext, the winner. Okay, you can present the award. Excellent, and wait, you also get some flowers. Some very pretty flowers. 
やっぱり立ってさせてくださいありがとうございますはい、ありがとうございますはい、ありがとうございますえっと、こんな光栄な賞をいただいてありがとうございます。えっと、先ほどのフィノピッチの方とダブル受賞ということで、あのちょっとこちらは日本語であのスピーチさせていただければと思いますが、あのこのインスパイアですね、あの新しい顧客体験。あの保険の顧客体験とあと並びにあの保険会社の新しいこう効率的なあの事業オペレーションを作っていくようなあのシステムですでこれを使って、まあ、まだまだ立ち上げたばっかりですので、えっと、これから保険業界保険ビジネスというのものをもっとこうよくしていけるように、えー、貢献していきたいと思っておりますありがとうございました Thank you very much Thank you very much Congratulations again to the winner Now, this year, the judge panel decided that there will be no category excellence for financial institutions. So we're going to move right along to category excellence for collaboration, which goes to <laughs> Elements and Tokyo Marine and Nichido Fire Insurance for creating cyber insurance for EKYC. And this will again be presented by Chie Ito. And if we could have the winners coming up to the stage, please. And some beautiful flowers for you as well. All right, we'll take that off your hands. We'll take that off your hands. There we go. So you can give us a comment. A comment from the winner. <laughs> I'm Hideyuki Hoshina, CEO of Liquid. I'm very honored to receive this award. Liquid provides an identity verification solution called Liquid EKYC, which has been adopted by the largest number of companies in Japan. Liquid EKYC stores personal information in the cloud, ensuring and maintaining high security. This cyber risk insurance was made possible by the high security of Liquid EKYC. And the innovative challenges of Tokyo Marine and Nichido Fire Insurance. In the unlikely events that the Liquid customer leaks personal information, Liquid will quickly assist them with this cyber risk insurance. Thank you very much. And congratulations once again. Hello, everyone. I'm Shoichiro Amano. From Tokyo Marine. It's a great honor for us to receive such a wonderful award this time. We are grateful to Rikit and all the members of Rikit. It is very important for the end users to feel secure on the services because security incidents happen a lot nowadays. Security concerns arise, especially when you share your information with third parties. On the other hand, service providers have to meet the demands of users who want better user experience. They want to use various services immediately. Liquid EKYC is a sophisticated solution to solve these big social issues. In order to support the development and expansion of this cutting edge service, we are providing a sense of security through insurance. We firstly develop this on the global basis. This service has already been introduced to a wide range of companies. Such as financial institutions. We will put a lot of effort 
to promote such co-creation cases with startups and contribute to the further development of the fintech industry. Thank you very much for listening. <laughs> Thank you again to our winners. Thank you very much. All right, now this year the judges have decided to give an honorary mention. And the winner is... Just In Case and Dido Life Insurance Company win for their support project to offer free COVID-19 cover. And if we could ask Masajima-san to the stage. Thank you very much. And we will be bringing up both of the winners from Just In Case and Dido. Please come to the stage. And the flowers? And flowers. All right, we'll trade that, Irikaite, and we'll have a comment from the winners. え、はい、あの、ライドセミの藤田でございます。え、JFIA <笑>あの、私ども大同生命がですね、この度あの、え、このコロナ助け保険畑さんとところと一緒にやらせていただきましたのは、え、大同生命はあの、もともと、ま、来年が実は創業120年なんですけれども、え、ここ50年は中小企
Alpaca Japan and Folio for developing Folio Robo Pro. And the prize will be presented by Masujima-san. And if we could get both the winners to come up on stage, please. And now a word from the winners, and then I don't mic to irikaite mo. Okay, abu <laughs> Okay, <laughs> okay. Please, a word from the winners. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, so it is very great honor to be here today with you. So really appreciate our whole team. So Finola, Finobetas, and the Alpaca team and the Folio team. Yeah, thank you very much. So you know, uh, actually, the whole Robo Pro, this is investment product. So it has not been always s smooth saving. So just one month after Robo Pro started out, COVID-19 hit the market. Mm. So you know, as all of you know, uh, almost of all assets plunged down massively with the move of a risk liquidity. Not risk off, risk liquidity market. So it is so tough. But uh, however, surprisingly, so the AI, Alpaca AI, predicted the market plunge, market decline very precisely in mm -hmm. advance. So that's why uh, the, it, it minimized the impact of the shock, actually. And then on the contrary, uh, the, it also predicted the market rebound as well. So as, uh, as a result, for this one year, uh, the RoboPuro performed, uh, sustained a very good performance. So beating uh, S &D, even S&P by five to six percent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good performance. So I believe uh, that this is the embodiment of uh, uh, the combination of a successful combination uh, between Alpaca team and our uh, for your engineers, uh, for your scientists. So we will continue to keep, we will, con uh, we will continue to brush up our algorithm uh, together and uh, in the future and uh, to achieve the much higher performance. Uh, please, uh, please look forward to it. Thank you again. All right, thank you. <laughs> Would you like to say a word, sir? Uh, hi, uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, this is Alpaca Japan. Uh, my name is Yotsu. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, congratulations for uh, the Folio and uh, Robo Pro team for receiving a great uh, uh, hour this time. And also, uh, thank you very much uh, for having me today. So we, I'm, uh, we as uh, Alpaca Japan, is very honored to have this uh, great hour this time. Uh, our role of well, this time, as, as Kaisa mentioned, uh, we are providing uh, a data science-based uh, uh, AI rebalancing model uh, and a score to this Lobo Pro. And uh, this is a great thing, but uh, still uh, uh, in the middle of the stage. So uh, as Kaisa mentioned, uh, we keep committing to uh, uh, developing the model uh, much better than uh, this one. So. Uh, we as a uh, AI data science company, uh, we keep focus on the collaborating with uh, a professional institution, uh, not only uh, Japanese, but also uh, international. So uh, thank you very much again, and cheers. And uh, lastly, uh, let's buy the Lobo Pro. Thank you very much. <laughs> Congratulations again. Congratulations again to our Grand Prix winners. All right, as we have announced all the winners of JFIA 2021, we would like to have a word from the chairperson of the judge panel, Mr. Masakazu Masujima, attorney at law at Morihamada and Matsumoto, and founder and president of Finnovators. Mr. Masujima. 
Okay. Uh, thank you for everything, uh, people, and ladies and gentlemen. So, Japan Financial Innovation Award appreciate innovative uh, initiative leveraging novel information technology in financial services space. This year, we've selected uh, great initiatives uh, ranging from like embedded financing challenge to great collaboration by traditional financial institutions and uh, startups. Among them, we've chosen a collaboration uh, initiative by Alpaca and Folio. Uh, Alpaca and Folio are pretty young startups, rapidly growing in the last uh, couple of years. We appreciate this collabor collaboration because it shows uh, some sort of uh, Japan's uh, maturity of fintech space in that startups can collaborate with each other without, involvement, without involvement of any like traditional financial institutions. So thank you very much everyone for uh, you know, uh, collaborating with us for this uh, great opportunity. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Masajima. All right, so now we're gonna to start to conclude JFIA 2021. We've already started to monitor press releases of the innovation initiatives in financial technology for the award next year. So we hope to see you all again next year. But before we go, we'd like to have a word from FinnoLab CEO, Chie Ito. All right, Ito-san, please come to the stage. Hi, uh, good evening, everybody. I'm Chie Ito. Our CEO of uh, Finolab. Um, I'd like to express uh, my grati uh, gratitude to all participants for joining this uh, 4F Future Frontier Fest by Finolab. Uh, first, congratulations to all Japan Financial Innovation Award and Finopitch Award winners. Uh, your challenges and efforts for future are inspiring and encouraging the people working in the financial industry to make the world better, I believe. And uh, this year, we named this event 4F 2021 Resilience. So I hope uh, you could see and feel the fundamental power of FinTech and also already every entrepreneurs and the entrepreneurs uh, working in this industry. Uh, let's take a quick look back at these four days. Uh, the first day, we had a final pitch and our 16 uh, startups gave a quite impressive pitch for us. Uh, today, uh, four hours from supporters and also or two audience hours, two grand prix, and additional special hours. Uh, we also had a very positive message from Ms. Gira Boscovich. I'd like to uh, thank you, Gira. Hi. <laughs> it was really encouraging. And uh, the second day, we had the several impressive presentations and excellent panel discussions uh, regarding on the subject of uh, changes in financial service. Uh, the panelists, uh, they are the leader to create the new generation of uh, financial services, uh, discussed on embedded or plug-in financial service, and gave us a lot of perception about issues and tips to resolve them. The discussion was profound and also very entertaining. It was really fruitful night, I think. Uh, the third day was Future Technology Day. The presenters suggested us to see things for what 5G really are and the possibility how we can utilize new space. Um, we also had a challenging panel discussion themed possibility of uh, collaboration between the new space and the financial industry. Uh, it was very colorful and unique. 
I hope the next year uh, we can see much more actual 5G use case and co collaborated project with new space industry. The last day today is JFIA and uh, Finovich Awards ceremony. We had a fantastic uh, message from uh, Mr. Brett King. I truly appreciate him for his continuous kind support. I'm really proud of all challenges working hard uh, despite of the huge depression caused by COVID-19. I hope more and more challenges will come and uh, try to uh, create new business next year. Again, I would like to uh, express my gratitude to all supporters, MUFG Innovation Partners, Mitsubishi Estate, Seven Bank, and Sumitomo Life Insurance Company, uh, GMO Aozora Net Bank, uh, ISID, and Nori Chuo Kinko Agventure Lab. And also partners, all speakers, judges from Finnovators, and participants. Our Finnolab will try to keep creating uh, new opportunities uh, that people can get together and find out new possibility of business. It's been a lot of pleasure being with us and uh, uh, being with all of you today. Thank you very much. All right. <clears throat> Thank you, Ms. Ito. And with that, we bring our ceremony to a close. So we hope to see you next year in person uh, rather than via video. Please subscribe to Finna Channel if you haven't done so, and don't forget to like as well. And finally, please see a message from our supporter, Mitsubishi Estate Company Limited. We'll see you next year. みなさんこんにちは。三菱自動車クロステックウェブの佐々木でございます。本日はコミュニティアンドスペースフィノラボの魅力を2分間でお伝えしていきたいと思います。早速ですが、こちらがメインエントランスとなっておりまして、あちら
我々は共にイノベーションを起こしてくれるメンバーを常に求めておりますぜひフィノラボにお越しください